Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to Dave's Techway, whichever way the situation may be. In today's video, I'm going to go back to another video that I'll put up here that uh, I put out about updating the BIOS on the Gigabyte B450M D DS3H motherboard. After I did that update, I think I may have bricked my motherboard. Stay tuned and we'll find out if I actually bricked it or not. Alright all, like I said in the intro, I got a little bit of an issue with my motherboard here after flashing the BIOS. Um, I hope you all don't get motion sickness easy, but uh, I'm going to kind of hand, handheld this or kind of blog this to show you what I'm talking about. I just updated the BIOS on the B450 DS, what is it, DH3S, the B, B450M DS3H motherboard from Gigabyte. And this is the issue I'm having. We're going to come over here. Let me flip you around here. There we go. We're going to go up here and we're going to hit the power button. Well, maybe we will. We're going to go up here and hit the power button. Just like so. And it should boot into Windows because of the NVMe drive I got in there. It should be booting into Windows. But right there, that's as far as it'll go. And within my years of doing this, I've never bricked a motherboard by updating the BIOS. You know, I mean, I take precautions. I hook my, I hook the systems up into a PSU or supplemental power supply. That way uh, I don't lose power. It took me a while to figure this out, but I'm going to show you the quick fix on how to fix this. And this is on the F31 BIOS update from Gigabyte. That's the one I downloaded from the website, just like I showed you in my other video. All right, let's go over here and be safe. We got to shut the system off. Anytime you plug anything in or off of a computer, you want to make sure the system powers off. You don't want to do it with the power on. And like I said, I tried a lot of different stuff on this before I figured this out. And I'm actually working with Gigabyte to try to get try to get this fixed. And I've been in contact with them about it. Right down here is where my three terabyte hard drive is connected. Right here underneath my graphics card. Now watch. If I take an unplugged graphics, if I unplug the three terabyte hard drive, there it is. I unplugged it. Come back up here. And I hit the power button on it. Well, I get the SATA port out of the fan of the graphics card. Then I come back over to the screen. There we go. That same place it let off, let off before, but you see that little thinking wheel down at the bottom? That means it's actually doing something. And there you go, it's loading into Windows perfectly fine. It's loaded into uh, Windows just by unplugging that SATA 3. And, you know, that's what was causing it, which made me think I may have actually uh, bricked my BIOS, but apparently I didn't. Let me get reset up, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, all. After watching that little video, like I said, like I said in that video, you know, I never, I've never bricked a BIOS on a motherboard. I've, you know, I've been doing this for way too many years. I've been building for way too many years. And even back in the day when it was easier to brick a motherboard, I never bricked a motherboard. So I didn't know if that was uh, what a brick motherboard would look like or not on the screen. But I thought maybe I bricked it, so I sent Gigabyte an email about it and told them I've been using the motherboard for a while. And I thought I bricked it doing a BIOS flash. And they actually approved my RMA on that motherboard. Um, kind of surprised me. It's kind of a good thing for buying new components and buying from Gigabyte. Most motherboard manufacturers, as I know of, you know, you tell them that you uh, bricked your motherboard by flashing the BIOS, and they wouldn't cover that under warranty because you, you're the one that caused it. But anyways, like I said in the video, I've been in contact with Gigabyte about this. You know, I sent them the specs of my system and everything. If you'd like to know the specs of my system, I'll put in the description below. I ain't going to run down all of them. 
but uh, you know I sent them all the specs to my system and everything and I actually uh, whenever I went in today to fix this it's been a couple of weeks since it's happened um, I actually ordered me another another motherboard just like that one and everything else put it in my system and uh, whenever I flashed the virus on that's when I actually noticed that and uh, cause I was going to send it back in for an RMA which that's kind of a good uh, time saver not having to send it in for an RMA because even though they approved it, it'd take a while. But yeah, guys, uh, if you are going to try to flash your BIOSes and stuff like that happens, you know, and that that's what I said in that first video, make sure you unplug everything besides what's necessary. Only have your primary hard drive plugged in. Don't have your printers plugged in. Don't have your headphones plugged in. You know, basically all you want plugged in is your power cable your uh, one monitor plugged in, your keyboard and your mouse plugged in when you do them, and, you're, and of course you have to have your internet connection plugged in. But other than that, guys, make sure everything else is unplugged. You know, it, and it helps because if something does go wrong, it helps you diagnose the issues. You know what I mean? Like, in that case, you know, it was a, it was a SATA port. For some reason, it seemed like it disabled my SATA port, is what it seemed like to me. Which, I got that NVMe drive in there, and when you put an NVMe drive, depending on your motherboard, it usually deactivates one or maybe two of your SATA ports because you got the NVMe in there. But I've tried that one in the other, all the SATA ports, and every SATA port was doing it. It seemed like that BIOS flash for F31 caused all my SATA ports to, uh, to, dis, to, to disable. You know, it wouldn't recognize, like I showed you, it wouldn't even boot. So, uh, if you run into an issue like this when you do flash your BIOS, you know, it's one thing to check. You know, you could even possibly, uh, if you have onboard graphics like I do, you know, you could even unplug your graphics cord and run off onboard graphics, check it, make sure it wasn't the graphics cord or the PCI Express slot ain't acting funny because of the BIOS update. But yeah guys, I guess I didn't break that motherboard, so now I got an extra gigabyte B450 motherboard laying here. Which, so uh, you know me, it'll be going into a build here sometime soon. Um, I could send it back and get the money back out of it, but I build enough systems where I'm sure I can sell it, or you know, I use it in a system and sell the system. So there ain't no sense in sending that one back and ordering another motherboard from someplace. But if you like what you've seen here in the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. There's that comment section below. You know, if you guys have ever bricked a motherboard, you know, shoot me a photo of it. You know, let me know what it does on the screen, because I've never done one in the years I've been doing this. But with that being said, if you really liked what you, uh, what you saw here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that way you're notified next time I put out a video. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. I'm getting quite a few of them up there. There may be something else you may interest you. Until then, y'all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.